Assalamu alaikum dear students and a very good morning to all of you. Hope all of you are doing well. So kids, welcome to the class again. As you all know, I am your social studies teacher and my name is Nida Sahar. So dear students, today we are going to start our new chapter, Religion. In this chapter, we are going to talk about religion. What is meant by religion? Who are prophets? We are also going to discuss different religions that people follow all over the world. We are also going to talk about their holy books and places of their worship. So let's begin. So students, this is the page from your book. This is page 84. I have highlighted the main points and I am also going to read it. Religion. From the earliest times, different people have had different beliefs about God, Allah and how human beings should conduct their lives on earth. Today, these beliefs are called religions. Religions were spread by people called prophets who had been chosen by Allah. His wishes and commands were revealed to the prophets and some were also granted divine books. Many people listened to the prophets and religious leaders and followed their teaching. The words and teachings of the prophets have been written down in the holy books. So kids, what do you understand by a term religion? Religion is a set of beliefs about how human beings should conduct their lives on earth. Religion is a set of beliefs about how human beings should conduct their lives on earth. These beliefs are called religion. Religion usually involves worship of a god and the belief in certain ideas about right and wrong behavior. Clear? So religion is a set of beliefs. So students, these are the main religions in the world that people follow. The main religions include Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, Sikhism, Jainism and Christianity. So these are the main religions that people follow all over the world. Islam. Buddhism, Hinduism, Sikhism, Jainism, and Christianity. So kids, do you know who are prophets? In religion, a prophet is one who speaks on behalf of a god or who is divinely inspired to reveal the will of a God. Religions were spread by people called prophets who had been chosen by Allah. They freely teach other people what they have learned. So who is a prophet? A prophet is one who speaks on behalf of a God or who spread the word of a, words of the God and who is divinely inspired to reveal the will of a God. Clear? So kids, as we are talking about the religions that people follow all over the world, first we are going to discuss about Islam. It is the second most followed religion in the world. Okay, now again on page 84, 
The followers of Islam are called Muslims. They believe in one Allah. Their faith is that Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a last last prophet and the holy quran was as uh, and the holy quran as revealed to hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the final word of allah islam does not allow the worship of any idols or pictures of allah or of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or any other religious leaders so dear students there are five pillars of islam i'm sure you all know about that there are five pillars of islam shahada salah som zakat and hajj Shahada means that we testified that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his last messenger Salah means offering prayer offering prayer 5 times a day Som means fasting fasting in the month of Ramadan Zakat means giving money to the poor or needy people and Hajj means going to pilgrimage to the house of Allah at Makkah so there are five pillars in Islam shahada salah som zakah and hajj clear Let's watch a video about the pillars of Islam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came to teach us many things, and the most important of them are the five pillars of Islam. Do you know the five pillars? Let's say them together. Number one, a shahada, to say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. وأشهد أن محمدا رسول الله which means there is no one worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is his final messenger number two is صلاة the prayer the five daily prayers number three زكاة to give the yearly charity number four is صيام fasting the month of Ramadan and number five is Hajj, going to Mecca and performing the pilgrimage. Salah will be the first pillar that Allah will ask us about on the Day of Judgment. So it is very important to pray on time and concentrate in your prayer. So kids, Muslims worship in Masjid. Who are Muslims? The followers of Islam are known as Muslims. The people who follow the teachings of Islam are called Muslims. And the place where they worship is called Masjid. I'm sure all of you know that. Here you can see the picture of a Masjid. So Muslim, all Muslims worship in Masjid. Right? Now we are going to talk about main festivals that are celebrated by Muslims. Muslims celebrate Eid al-Fitr. Eid al-Fitr is a Muslim holiday celebrated when Ramadan, the month of fasting, finishes. During this festival, children accept gifts and Eid in the form of money from adults. It is an occasion intended for enjoyment, forgiveness and feasting. Another main festival celebrated by Muslims is Eid al-Adha. 
Eid al-Adha means the feast of the sacrifice. An animal is sacrificed in much the same way that Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam sacrificed a lamb. One third of the meat is given to the poor and the rest goes to the family and relatives. So these are the two main festivals celebrated by Muslims. Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Clear? So kids, I'm sure you all know that what is the holy book of Muslims called? The holy book of Muslims is Quran. The holy Quran was revealed to Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muslims follow the teachings of the Quran. Muslim believe and follow the teachings of the Quran and Quran is the holy book of Muslims that is that was revealed to Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So kids, this is the page from your book again. This is page 85. Other religions have their own prophets and their own holy books. The Quran also mentions the names of many prophets and their divine books. Among these are Moses, Hazrat Musa salam, and Jesus, Hazrat Isa salam. Now we are going to talk about another religion, Judaism. First we had talked about Islam. Now we are going to talk about Judaism. Judaism is one of the oldest religions. It was preached by Moses Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, to whom God gave the holy book Torah, also known as Torah. Its believers are called Jews. The Jews pray in a synagogue. And here comes the book, the holy book that is followed by the Jews. First of all, who are Jews? The believers or the followers of Judaism are called Jews. And the book that is being followed by the Jews is the Torah, which is also known as Torah. This book, this holy book was revealed on Moses, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. And this is the place where Jews worship. This place is known as synagogue. The place where Jews pray is called synagogue. This is the place. The place of worship of Jews is known as synagogue. Okay, here comes the festival celebrated by the Jews. Shabbat, which is also known as Sabbat. It is a weekly period of rest from Friday evening until Saturday night. This is not strictly a religious festival, but Jewish practice it. The word Shabbat means rest, but in most Jewish homes, a great deal of work is done before the day begins in preparation for Shabbat. So this is a weekly period of rest from Friday evening until Saturday night. It is a Jewish practice. Okay, the third religion that we are going to discuss in this chapter is Christianity. 
کرسچینٹی از بیسڈ آن دا ٹیچنگس آف جیسس کرائسٹ حضرت عیسیٰ علیہ السلام اٹ از دا موسٹ فالوڈ ریلیجن ان دا ورلڈ اوکے ناؤ آن پیج ایٹی فائیو کرسچینٹی از بیسڈ آن دا ٹیچنگس آف جیسس کرائسٹ حضرت عیسیٰ علیہ السلام دا ہولی بائبل وچ از آلسو نون ایز ان جیل واز ریویلڈ بائی گاڈ ٹو کرائسٹ ہز فالوئرس آر کالڈ کرسچنس اینڈ دا پلیس آف دیئر ورشپ از کالڈ اے چرچ ہیئر کمس دا ہولی بک دیٹ از فالوڈ بائی دا کرسچنس The holy book that is followed by the Christians is called an holy bible which is also known as Injil. The holy bible Injil was revealed by God to Jesus Christ Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. Okay so holy book of Christians is known as the bible. and here you can see the place where christians worship or pray this place is known as the church the play the place where the christians worship or pray is called the church right students here comes the main festivals that are celebrated by the christians The first one is the Easter. Easter is a Christian festival. Easter is celebrated on the first Sunday following the full moon that occurs on or just after the spring equinox. Here comes another festival that is celebrated by the Christians, Christmas. Christmas is celebrated on 25th of December. Okay kids, now it's your turn. You have to read the chapter thoroughly from page 84 to 85 and you have to underline the main points. And I'm sure after watching this video, you would be able to tell what is meant by a religion? Can you name the main religions that people follow in the world? What are the five pillars of Islam? Where do Jews and Christians pray? Can you name the holy book of Christians? What followers of Islam are called? Can you name the holy book of Jews? Okay kids, that is all for the today's lecture. I'm sure everything is well understood. I'm going to see you in the next class. Till then, all of you stay home, stay safe and study hard. Take care and Allah Hafiz and keep smiling.